Hello and good morning to you. It is Friday, TGIF. Thank goodness it's Friday. Woo! -hoo. Hey Google, what day is it today? Hey Google, what day is it today? It is Friday, the 5th of July, 2019. Hey Google, how many days until August 25th? 51 days. 51 days until I complete the challenge. Two videos on the 24th and the 25th for the challenge. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm doing in the, in the long run. The Ride to Conquer Cancer, the challenge that I'm training for. And I have to say I'm a little sore, so I can't wait after work because after work I'm gonna go meet with Kyla and Kyla's gonna show me how to do some yoga which is gonna be pretty interesting I'm not the most flexible person but I'm up for anything so TGIF oh and by the way there's a great announcement if you're local I mean like in within reason I'm based in Victoria Victoria British Columbia part of Canada I'm doing five dollars from every haircut. I don't know if you noticed, uh, I'm, a, I'm a hairdresser. Sometimes my hair is a little wa wacky and wild, but yeah, it's okay. I'm a hairdresser in a place called Carrero. Giving five dollars from every single haircut from now until the end of the race. Donating it to the Ride to Conquer Cancer. And we're giving away a Davinus gift basket worth $250. I will send it anywhere in Canada. You heard it, anywhere in Canada. Open to Canadian residents only. But don't worry, there's a lot more announcements coming. I've got a bunch of giveaways. Stay tuned to Sunday, stay tuned to Wednesday. There is a bunch of stuff going on. So have a great day and I'll see you out there. Oh yeah, don't forget, you have to smash that like button. And yeah, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, the notifications and stay in the loop because I'm posting a video every single day. Today is day five, 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 five. And uh, tomorrow's a good one. Sunday's a great one. And uh, yeah, stay tuned because subscribe, like, comment. I wanna hear from you guys down below. Talk to me. Okay, so I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to stretching. So my dear friend Kyla is going to help me with that. Hi guys, my name's Kyla Ganyan. I am a yoga teacher and personal trainer in Victoria and Jesse is um, brave enough to take on this amazing adventure and I am lucky enough to be helping him on his Woo! stretching journey. High five. Yeah. All right. Um, so yes, I take yoga. Um, we're we're gonna probably get into something that's a bit more yoga y, but straight off the bat, we're just gonna yoga e yoga e term. Perfect. It's a word. I googled it. Okay, I'm, I'm, I trust you. <laughs> um, these are gonna be poses or poses. See, yoga e stretches. Stretches. And Jesse's going to use specific to his cycling. Cause I imagine your legs and oh, geez, ears. these are just yeah. Yeah. I feel a little old. Let's not go there. Yeah. So cycling has us in a forward position, which um, to be super honest, most of what we do in life puts us in a forward position and it gives um, a lot of posterior issues, but it's gonna mean that not only are our front body muscles really tight, so everything up through our ceilings into our neck, chest, shoulders, pecs, into our hip flexors, which maybe I'm assuming is somewhere that you're feeling it a lot. Oh yeah. Um, and then it means that the muscles in the back are just kind of relaxing. So we need to stretch out the front body, stretch out the legs, hips, and then kind of open up and then strengthen the back a little bit. So today we're going to go really basic. Okay. Really basic. And we're going to start in a tabletop position. Okay. Is that a word that makes sense to I you? I think I get that. That's like one of these, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tabletop position. So hands somewhere around underneath your shoulders. And then hips are somewhere around over top of your knees. Yeah, beautiful. So this is more so just a waking up of the spine. It's not so much of a stretch. 
So as you exhale, you're gonna press your hands down, you're gonna round your spine, tuck your chin and look towards your thighs. And then we're just gonna hang out right here. So this is called a cat pose or angry cat. So in this pose or stretch, we're trying to stretch out the back of our shoulder blades, our neck. And now this is kind of the position that you'll find yourself in as a cyclist. So from here, we're gonna inhale, drop our belly and lift our tailbone and the back of our head up. Take your gaze upwards. And then exhale to bring that back into cat pose. Who comes up with these names? Ancient yogis. <laughs> <laughs> and then inhale again, we're gonna drop the belly. So this is something that would be done in the beginning phases of a yoga class to wake up the spine. So we're just trying to get some blood flow circulation into the back body. Oh, I'm woken up. Perfect. <laughs> Good, so we're gonna take it back into a child's pose. So, big toes are gonna touch, knees are gonna come nice and wide. Press your hips back, let your forehead find the mat, reach your arms forward, and you're gonna to totally relax here. Is this relaxing? This is relaxing. Okay, okay cool. It's relaxing when you're not super, super tight. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. tight, okay. So in this position, as you breathe, you're trying to fill this space of your body up. So breathe, try to lift up your shoulder blades, expand them left to right and then just completely relax on your exhale, folding a little further into your mat. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Ooh. So you can stay there for as long as it really felt good. Okay. Oh, it's, five, oh, it's supposed to feel good? Five, okay. ten minutes or so. Okay. Okay. Come on up. We're going to flip it onto your back. And these are not really the juicy stretches yet, but they're warming you up to get there. So lying on your back, this is also a lovely relaxing place to stay. Oh, just lying down? Yeah. Just lying down. So nice. Bend your knees. Okay. Now reach your hands down. You should be able to touch the back of your ankles. Yeah, beauty. We're gonna move into a little bridge pose to wake up the front body, stretch open the front of the hips a little bit, really gently. So arms down beside you, lift your hips up. Hang out here just for a second. Now, can you clasp your hands beneath your back? We're gonna get very fancy here. Wait, wait. Like, like hold your own hands. Oh yeah. There he is. Sorry, I got the sun in my eyes. Yeah, I know, it's very bright. Nice. Now. Can you walk one shoulder at a time underneath to get a little bit of lift through your chest? Beauty, okay. From here, stretch will begin. Press your feet down. Press your hands, elbows, shoulders down. And then just lift your chest up to the sky. Take your chin away from your throat. So just open your throat a little bit. So this is a very gentle passive stretch to open through your hip flexors. I know it probably doesn't feel gentle and passive. No, it's okay. Yeah. It's also Ooh. a great, it's a great toner for the tush. Oh yeah, can feel I can it? feel that, <laughs> feel that burn on those bones. We're gonna stay here for 10 to 15 minutes. Just kidding, really? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay. okay, release your hands, slowly bring your spine to the mat and then just tuck your knees into your chest, give yourself a little bit of a hug. Okay, cool. Yeah, wiggle around. Yeah, exactly. Okay, now we're gonna take it back to a kneeling position. So just bring yourself up, flip it over. So we're gonna find a low lunge. So now we're a little bit warmed up. Now granted, I would probably have you stay in those stretches just a little bit longer okay. than we did. But getting into a low lunge, let's take your right leg forward. Oh, right, yeah, sorry, right. To be fair, it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> now from here, what a lot of people wanna do is like hinge way forward and really sink in because they think that that's the best way to feel the stretch in your hips. Okay. But what I want you to do instead is to come upright okay. and then stay as tall as you can. Now think about your left hip flexor. If you could pull your hip forward and pull your right hip back, you can't, they're not actually gonna go anywhere, but you can shift the bones a little bit. You can pull your right hip back, press your left thigh bone and hip forward. And then if you feel like you want a little bit more stretch, reach your left arm up. So now with your left arm fully extended, your left knee down, pulling your left hip a little bit forward, you're lengthening that whole front front left side of your body. Now, if you need it a little bit more, then I would say shift your weight ever so slightly forward, but not a lot. Okay. Squeeze your left butt cheek. Ooh, there it is. Feel that burn. Good. Okay. And then you would stay here again, like upwards of, a, you know, two to three minutes, okay. two minutes, one minute. And the thing with- 30 seconds. 30 seconds. The thing with release out of that, stretching, you can release. Okay. is making sure you get to a place that you can still breathe. So if you're getting into that and you're like, 
it's stretching, but like you can't breathe, you've gone too far, you're not releasing the muscle, you need to come out of it. So stretching doesn't have to, you don't have to be super deep into a stretch or a yoga pose for it to be beneficial to you. Um, so for, you, let's say you went to a yoga class and there's someone way down in the super deep lunge, and you're like, that looks really cool. That doesn't mean that they're getting a better stretch than you. It might mean that they're getting even a worse stress, stretch than you. Um, some bodies just move a little bit more. It doesn't mean that they're actually releasing a muscle that's tight. They probably don't have that tight of muscles if they're falling into that pose. Okay. So to be fair, let's do the other side. So you're sore. So left knee's forward, and one side will probably feel a lot different than the other. Oh, he does. Me too, this is a super tight side for me. So staying upright, reach your right arm up. From here, pull your right hip a little bit forward and pull your left hip a little bit back. Then give your right bum cheek a little squeeze. Yeah, that's, that's usually the clencher is squeezing the bum cheek. Yeah. It forces the hip a little bit more forward. So again, your arm doesn't have to stay up. It can come down at any point as long as you keep pulling this hip forward and squeezing that bum cheek. So this is gonna be a really good one for you to do and I would suggest doing both sides multiple times. Okay. And holding for, again, at least a minute. Two would be ideal because your hip flexors from in, being in that seated, hunched over position are just gonna be so, so, so tight. So we wanna open them up. Release out of that. We're gonna go back to right leg forward. We're gonna get into the hamstrings. So from here, this one's called half splits, but at least it's not full Sounds splits. Sounds fun. It's not full splits. So from here, we're just gonna shift your hips back. Work towards straightening up your right leg and firing up your toes. So some people need to make adjustments and wiggle around until they feel like they're in a spot that they feel comfy. Good, so you can come right upright. And now, with this stretch, you wanna, do you feel it? Oh, feel yeah, that yeah. burn, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell that it's a burn. He's tight. I'm um, a tight yeah. So you wanna make sure that this knee is never straight. And you're perfect, there's a micro bend in it. You always wanna keep a micro bend in it. From this position, you wanna push your right heel down and then try to drag it backwards. It's not gonna go anywhere, but you're oh, creating yeah, that motion. That. Good. And then, in about six or seven weeks from now, when you've been doing this regularly and you're yeah. really bendy, you would reach your hands to the floor and you would hinge yourself forward over that leg. But don't force it. Six so you is, heard it in six or seven six. weeks? It's gonna have a be really bendy. <laughs> it's gonna feel amazing. So, again, we would stay here upwards one to two minutes. Okay. Making sure that you're in a space that you can breathe fully the whole time. Okay, let's bring it on out. Let's do the other side to keep it even. <clears throat> so, again, finding that lunge, bringing it back, and then adjusting if you need to. Left toes are fired up and left knee's a little bit bent. You can have your torso right upright. Press down through your left heel. Okay. And then pull back with your oh, whole yeah, foot, yeah. Okay. So the left hip shifts back. Okay. And then if you don't feel that already in your hamstring. Oh, I feel it. Great, right, then let's stay right there. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, so hamstrings get tight. So again, yeah. multiple times. You're gonna repeat this multiple yeah. times. Totally, I'll okay. do it on the course. Yeah. Just jump off the bike. Yeah, jump off the bike and start doing some stretches <laughs> in the middle of the road. Bring your leg back. We're going to stand up. <laughs> this one's easy. I do this about 100 times in a yoga practice. It's called a standing forward fold. Okay. It's very fancy. So feet are going to be about hip width distance apart. Perfect so far. Bend the knees a little bit. Take your arms way up. Reach yourself tall to lengthen through the side body and front body. And then exhale to bend your knees. Bend your knees and fold. And then you're just gonna ragdoll your whole upper body. So let your head hang, let your arms hang. Ooh, get ragdoll. nice and loose. Beautiful. Knees are staying bent. Try to weight evenly through toes and heels. You'll find that we generally, in this position, will lean forward. Some people lean back. So try to evenly shift the weight between both feet. Take any wiggles here. This does not have to be a stationary, steady pose. But, this one feels really good. Yeah, all right. And again, you can stay here for as long as it feels good. The world sure looks different upside Doesn't down. Doesn't it? It's quite pretty. Okay, and then you can release the arms and slowly, 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 slowly roll it up. Okay, so those are gonna be sure. easy, basic starter stretches. Okay. And um, again, the cat-cow is to wake up the spine. Okay. 
bridge is to, again, kind of get the spine fired up, start to open the front body, okay. and those low lunges and the half splits are going to really get in and stretch out your hip flexors and your hamstrings. Okay, and how, which, where did the you know, angry cat fit, fit into it? Right in the beginning, or cat cow. Oh yeah, sorry, the angry cat. Angry cat. The angry cat and the cat cow, yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah. friends now. They're buds, so those are your, your, your first set of stretches. Cool, we'll see right you next week. All right, if you liked that video, it was awesome. I feel a little bit better than when I first started. Then stay tuned because local residents of Victoria were doing a yoga in the park with Kyla. Sunday, July 28th, 10 a.m. to 11.15, $20 by donation. Goes to the Ride to Conquer Cancer. Kyla will be teaching it. And stay tuned for more information.